In 2009, a week before Christmas, we were diagnosed, our two kids, which at the time were five and two, were diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And since then, the disease has actually uh, progressed a lot in both of those boys, both of our boys, and to the point that you usually, they lose the ability to walk around 11 or 12, it's paralyzing by late teens and life, to, life expectancies early to mid 20s. And we feel like they're on a, a very fast paced progression. So Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a disease caused by the loss of a muscle protein. That protein is located in the skeletal muscle, uh, but also the heart. The disease results in progressive weakness of the muscles, which results in the ability to walk being lost, and then progressive heart muscle involvement with heart failure, which can lead to early death. Initially with the diagnosis, there's a lot of shock and awe and a lot of information gathering that families do. Um, it's really the sort of stages of grief if you go through that. Denial, but then acceptance and anger and all of those sort of things. Um, and, and then they transition into, okay, let's learn everything we can about this disease and let's try to do something about it. People need to know about it. Um, and, and then they're very active individuals. They want to do things. And then, um, and then it really centers on care. So then how can we provide the best care for this individual um, and do the best that we can with the time that we have? And then there's the reality of what happens later um, in life. But you sort of push that away. Um, or I think families do at least outwardly um, because they know they have things to do between now and whatever time that may be. Two, three, four. And four, three. And now our youngest son, which is Emery, he, he just turned six back in August. You can see the sign that he, uh, that we recognize now a lot more than we did with Jonah. But he's starting to he, he started to fall down. He's starting to struggle getting up steps. Progressing. He's definitely progressing. First told him a long time ago he wanted two wheelchairs. He wanted one that when we told him later down in the future he might have to have being a wheelchair. And this is when he was still like six or you know maybe seven. And he was like, well, I want two. I want one that can go real fast in case somebody wants to walk with me and then one that's going to go really fast so I can keep up with the people that go, want to go fast. He too, said so. in case they want to race me, <laughs> he said I need But one. in case somebody wants to walk with me, then I'm going to get a slow one. I think it is hard um, in these sibling situations because the younger sibling watches what happens to the older sibling and says that's my future. Um, and so I think that's difficult. We were diagnosed, we wanted to do something more because there's kids all over this world with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It affects all nationalities with no geographic boundaries. So we started FightDMD.com. And we actually have an upcoming event in April, on April 13th. It's a celebrity basketball game. And we were raising money to do research at Monroe Carroll Junior Children's Hospital to hopefully find a cure for this disease.